Oh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, just behind the scenes there, trying to get everything set up. How's it going? Come on in, guys. Mr. Cool Stuff, what's up? Yeah, this is live, brother. What's up? You see, I'm here. Real hands, real striker, ready to crush, ready to break, snipping, clipping, ready to go. Just had to add a thumbnail. Takes a little, little bit to get this all set up. Behind the scenes. Nikhil, what's up? How's it going, Sam? Got some really interesting music happening here. Kind of sounds like we're in a an enchanted world. Maybe that of a storybook, a fairy tale. Maybe like the Lion Witch in the wardrobe. You walk through the wardrobe, and here it is. Can you even hear it? And then there's that that winter world, winter wonderland. And then out comes that creature, that little, what is that thing called? It's like a half goat, half man, pan type guy. I get them all over the place. I travel far and wide. I purchase from many different stores on the internet. I do what I gotta do. LCS. Hundreds and hundreds of miles driving all over the place. Ryan, what's happening? Nick, what up? Deftones. You had to drive to 37 Walmarts. Yeah, I hear you, brother. I, I've hit up my share, man. Robert, how's it going, man? Shy City. All over the place, yep. You gotta, and every once in a while, you can get a good deal online on this retail stuff. You just gotta be in the right place at the right time. I wasn't able to get any of the, I heard they had some on the Tops website. I didn't get any from there, it was too late. Boatload of goodness, all for you. I can't wait to see what's in here. I'm gonna get super jelly if there's a, a bow, X-Fractor. That's the one thing I want. I want the Bow X Fractor. It's not the one thing I want. Who am I kidding? There's like 150 cards out of this that I want. But the Bow and the negative. The negative Bow and the X Fractor Bow. The Sepia, it's nice. But I, I something about that X Fractor. And the Bow is going for like 125 Of course, the Robert. Of course, everybody knows about the Robert. Thoughts on the Cubs? They look pretty good. Um... You know, they're kind of the standard Cubs that they have been the last few years. You know, that Nico edition is nice. He seems to be getting quite a bit of PT. They, you know, they might falter on the pitching front. Is Lester their best pitcher? You know, he, he was washed years ago, I feel. He's still a good pitcher, but he's not going to win you a World Series at this point in his career. you got to have a couple more aces. But anything can happen this year. But there's going to be a big old asterisk next to this year. I do like the pinks. I prefer the pinks to the sepias. But the sepias look like like the the negative almost. So it kind of it can be confusing if you're going on eBay looking for the negatives and you run across the sepia by accident thinking you're buying that. Why are the cellos five pinks and some three pinks? I thought they were all five pinks. It says five pinks. If you only get three pinks in your pack, you're getting screwed. Chatty P, what's happening, my man? Deftone says, my local Walmart, within two days of having nothing, I go back and there was empty box of new NBA. Let me tell you guys, it's the Wild West out there. I ran into two situations. Nothing too serious, but a little bit of confrontation happening trying to get this stuff. And I'm fair. I'll split it up with whoever's there. That's fine. But you have to be at the store exactly when they put it on the shelves or you're not going to get any. There was a dude at the store. I don't want to give all my secrets away. But there was a dude at the store at a place in time that I did not expect. And he would, if I would have been 10 seconds later, I would have got nothing. He was, he was going to clear it all out. He was looking at his phone going, 
he was going, oh man, they sell these for a lot of money there on Facebook. That's what he said. And I'm like, you don't even know what you're looking for. So he was just like a flipper, you know, and he would have cleared it all out, man. He was loading his cart up and I was there like exactly when I had to be there. Both times, both places I got lucky. I was there at the exact moment they were putting them on the shelves and I, I split it up with three other three dudes so it was like everybody got a little bit you know but if I wasn't there they would have cleared it all out think of it that way you guys it's not it's not leave some for the kids the kids are not gonna get any if you leave them there the flippers are gonna get them and sell them for 50 bucks on eBay or whatever so just remember that people are going and buying them all so if you don't get what you want, you're not going to get any more. And they're not going to leave any for the kids. What's up, Ethan? How's everybody doing? Is everybody excited? We're going to be ripping all kinds of chrome. I got my jumbos. I ordered some jumbos. I finally got them. I mean, finally. It was... I mean, it... I guess it was reasonable considering that the post office is quite slow these days, quite slow. So, like everybody I talk to it asks me, cause I'm, I deal with the post office every day and I love, I, I have a great experience. I love all those guys. Like I know all the guys there, they're just people like us. They're doing their best. They're trying to make it, trying to, you know, do everything they can to ship the packages out. But I've heard that a lot of people are calling into work, not wanting to go to work, you know, all the excuses so that's a big problem people not wanting to work and that's why a lot of packages are getting delayed but man these guys are out there they're out there trying their best gotta give them gotta give them props they gotta go through all the stuff that everybody else has to go through but it is funny because the people at the front all wear masks because they have to but if you look in the back all the workers in the back at least around me none of them are wearing a mask which I'm not going to get into that, but it's just an interesting thing. Viking says Panini had some optic. Absolute for retail price. What's uh, some absolute? Yeah, absolute's 200 Everywhere. I, I mean, that's like the standard price. I haven't seen... You can't get it less than that. As far as I know. I mean, maybe you could if you have like a distributor or something, but... All the websites have, it's all 200 bucks. Might go up. I, it sh I mean, I don't want it to go up because I love this stuff. It's, it's loaded, but I think it probably should be a little bit more expensive. But shh, I won't tell them. I won't tell them if you won't. You got the Bull SP, Nick? Wow, dude, that's a sweet card. I love that. I love that, uh, that white jersey bow. And then there's the two different... SPs out of the chrome that are just man I wit because if sometimes you can get lucky like when a product maybe even like the day before it comes out or two days before some people get this stuff really early like if you're a card shop or I don't know I don't know how they get it that early but they'll list some stuff you can actually get good deals like that bow SSP man the first couple of the people that bought that got a great deal and it like tripled in price since then Seems like there's quite a few of the regular bow SPs of the Chrome where he's standing there. Um, it's kind of like a side profile, taller picture. There's I see a lot of those, but the SSP is a lot more rare. I mean, just look at this. Let's see here. We're, we're talking, where is the SSP? It's like, you'd think I would know because I just did all of this. There's the regular SP. So it's one out of 406, and the super short print is one out of 13,813 packs. That's unbelievable. And it's not that, it, like, I think a couple people got it for around 200 bucks. It should be like $1,000. So whoever got, like, so keep your eyes peeled. It's The tough part is, is knowing, like, what this stuff is worth, because it's you're kind of setting the market early. And some people that are just trying to sell and flip early, you know, they don't know what it's worth. So with, you know, if you do your research, if you're looking back here and you're seeing it's one out of 13,000 packs, it's only going for 200 bucks. It's like, okay, I think I should probably buy this. It's, this should be worth 600 at least. Yo, yo, King Arthur. 
What's up, everybody? Sorry if I missed some chats. We're getting close. We're getting close to randomization time. Any minute now, we're going to get there. More people are piling in. Everybody's having a good time. It's going to be a great day. We should get some hype music going. That was called Autumn Breeze. Not exactly hype music. What do we got here? Yeah. It's not, it's not exactly hype. How about this? This one's called Party at Station 5. It'll do. A little better, eh? All right. I can't, King Arthur. You know what happens when I play that music. For a while we got away with it, but then they came down with a hammer. And they're like, stop playing. Stop playing all this music. Or we're going to take your channel away. Okay. I mean, it, it didn't go down exactly like that, but it felt like that. You got two blasters of Chrome for 25 on eBay. Nice. Yeah, we got two breaks, guys. So the first one is all the stuff you see here. We got all these value packs, a couple of blasters. By a couple, I mean four. And I don't know why I like these so much, these Megas. I guess I do know. It's 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 the X-Fractors. The X-Fractors are pretty tight. So we're gonna rip two of these. Then, the star of the show, five chrome on-card autos. The question that everybody's been asking, are we going to get another Tom Eshelman auto? Your guess is as good as mine, but he's right here. Should I put him up back here and just have him look over the whole break, make sure everything's going according to plan, Mr. Eshelman? You guys see, he's been getting blown up, too. Unfortunately. That's Rob's boy. Where's Rob? He in the house? How's the garden? What's up, Johnny? Garden's great, man. I've just been harvesting like crazy. Made some red skin mashed potatoes out of all of our... Out of about half of the red skin. It was the best red skin mashed potatoes I've ever made. And I am an expert at red skin mashed potatoes. Some people call them shma smashed. Red skin smashed call them redskin mashed but i'll tell you i got the perfect recipe oh it was so good i could have eaten i don't know like 20 potatoes worth it was so good i felt myself getting fatter with every bite too because of my secret ingredient i'm not going to tell you what it is it's a secret but all right fine i'll tell you fine it's heavy whipping cream and you do 50 50 with uh heavy cream and regular milk, or you can use almond milk. That's the secret. The almond milk is the secret, okay? Because it's got just a little bit of sweetness in it. Oh, it makes it so creamy and delicious. You guys. And the pickles, I used all the cucumbers. That I, not all of them, but a lot to make pickles. And they're so freaking good, I can't stop eating them. I ate a whole jar of pickles the other night. They're just addicting. Super addicting. I have a secret recipe for that, too. Maybe one of these days I'll make a video about all this. All right, let's do this. I'm beside myself with excitement. I'm going to crush some chrome. And you guys, there's a lot of new people in. So strikerbreaks.com, I post the breaks, the list right here on the website. So before you, uh, before the break starts, go and check the list out and make sure your name's on there properly so that we can take care of any issues beforehand. And, uh, you know, usually there's not an issue, but I'm gonna get this out of out of order first because I put it in. It's not even alphabetical order; it's order by the first first name. But you get it. Randomize it one time, get it out of order. Okay, let's go to the teams three times. Cucumbers and zucchini, yeah. Uh, zucchini bread's okay, and I'm not a huge zucchini fan. I'll eat it. And zucchini bread's all right, but the trick with zucchini bread is you gotta, if, if it's just, if it's not warm, fresh out of the oven, you gotta put it in a microwave for like 20 seconds and get it heated up and then slather some butter on top and sprinkle a little brown sugar on it. That's the key with zucchini bread. 
There's one. There's two. There's three. Who's leading off the Braves? The Braves are leading off. I haven't had the Braves lead off in, I don't know, 30 randomizations. Now, it's time for chance to play a role in the break. Two times. Two times. Here's one. And two. BMAC got the Braves. Also, if you guys want to go by a different name or if you have a nickname that you want to use or something, I just use the name that's on the order. So if you want to go by something else, you can put that in on, on your order. Put these in order, speaking of, and let's go. Diamondbacks, Chad P. Braves, BMAC, Orioles, Chris L, Red Sox, Anthony V, Cubs, David T, White Sox, Nicholas A, Reds, Cubby, Indians, Kerry W, Rockies, Eric B, Tigers, Jason E, Astros, Nathan C, Royals, Dave R, Angels, BMAC, Dodgers, Steve A, Marlins, John L, Brewers, Chad P, Twins, Ryan B, Mets, Matthew D, Yankees, Evangelina, Athletics, John C, Phillies, Nina, Nina's back in, ladies and gentlemen, is she in here? Hopefully she's in here soon. Pirates, Brandon K, Padres, Derek W, Giants, Robert H, Mariners, John C, Cardinals, Joshua B, Rays, Francisco M, Rangers, Kevin M, Blue Jays, Joseph B, Nationals, Tang B. Let's go! Boom! Crush it! Yeah. Boom! Let me print this off. And then drop the link. Like I said, strikerbreaks.com, on the homepage, you can check this. This link is on there if you need it. There's Nina. Yay, Nina, we've missed you. I'm so excited that you're in the house. This is, this is a good thing. We're going to get super lucky. I can feel it. It's like a holiday. Nina arrives at the party. The music gets turned up a little bit. People start dancing, cheersing. All right. We gotta open one of these first. Got to. The Mega. All right, guys, I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab my list. Give me 17 seconds. How was that? I think I might have beat my record time. One of these times I might fall down the stairs though. So just be, if I don't come back one of these days, just know that I'm laying at the bottom of the stairs and my body is all contorted and I'm just going, Aah! but hasn't happened yet. About 12 seconds. It feels like it was about about 14. Okay. Can't resist. Nina can't resist the chrome. I know, me neither. It, this chrome is really hard to resist. I actually I met up with Cubby the other night. Last night. I brought him a box. A box of this. And we sat there at a little gathering watching the UFC fight. Opening tops chrome. We, we couldn't resist. People are looking at us like... What are you doing? I mean, we got to open some chrome. All right. Woo! Nina, did you see the new lucky card, by the way? Haven't talked to you in a while. Kluber Claus? I know he's for Texas now, but... Seems to be working out pretty well. Double soak. Sorry if I miss your chats, you guys. There's, I... I know I've missed a lot. It's not on purpose. I promise you, I love I love chatting with the chat. It's my favorite. So just forgive me if I miss it. It wasn't intentional. 
Deep Sound, what's up? Chrome is the most value out of the whole series of tops, says Nick Hill. Hmm. Hmm. Clue bot. Clue bot. It, would it be 2.0? Is it Clue bot 2.0? Now that he's on Texas? Is that how it works? Kyle Lewis Auto Refractor. Ooh, that would be, that would be schmancy. I'll tell you what, man, I'm on a, hey, there's a Yordan. It's nice. I, I haven't pulled a Yordan for, for myself. What the heck? I've opened quite a bit. I'm going to put them up there. Because I want to. But, yeah, that's the final thing I think I need. Oh, yeah, look at, check this out. This was, I pulled this last night <laughs> during the fight when we were opening cards. This was the best card that we got out of two boxes. So, it wasn't the best, but I didn't have that card, so I was really stoked. And Cubby's like, dude, it's like a $10 card. I'm like, I, I don't have it yet. Oh, we got a blue. Look at this. Oh, baby. We got a blue. It's a sideways card. Is it sideways? Oh, it just looked weird. Carlos Santana. There we go. The Indians polls are happening because Nina's here. That is sweet. 116 or 150. Very nice. Going to carry. Congratulations, Carrie. It's gnarly. Family just got home. Hold on. Going to have two little girls running around screaming, having a great time. So if you hear that, you're calling a one of one. Yeah, Slam Tana. He's probably walking off a win right there or something. The home run. Okay, so out of all the stuff that I've I've only pulled one parallel for myself, and it, it was a purple. So just right off the bat, we got a blue here. That's crazy. What's up, Jeremy? Everybody's great. Nice little Vladdy action there. Future stars. This is... After this box, I gotta find some different music. It's not, I'm not feeling the vibe of it. Kepler. Refractor. Nick Hill called Auto Bow Blue Wave. Yep, called out. You guys know how it works. There's a Grisham. I'm on a Grisham kick right now. I, oh, I always do this. It's like, I should be on like a Robert kick, a Bo, Jordan, all these other guys, but... Nope. Why do I got to go to Trent Grisham? I, I mean, he's a, he's a Padre, so I'm kind of biased there. The music's depressing. I got to change it. Just just bear with it for a minute. Just bear with it. It'll be fine. It's better than no music. What is this? Oh, I got into the X-Fractor. All right, well, let's do that then. Switch it up. I haven't been very lucky with the, the parallels, but maybe now. Come on. Paddock. Okay. You smell bow? Hmm. I knew that musk was a familiar scent. It smells like bow. Old Spice. Justin Dunn. LeMahieu. The wrong white sock. And a Seeger. Okay, well, I mean, trying to trying to mix it up. The X Fractors didn't really come through. You'll take a Maguire Auto Super Fractor. Got a Bias Prism. Pretty nice. What? Bowen on the DL? I didn't know that. Oh, that's so sad. He was crushing so hard. He's been like 347, I think. 
Dave. What's up, Dave? Good to see you in here. You rocking tonight? I'm going to be in need of a Dave Durango live stream tonight. I'm going to have a lot of cards to sort. Got the Josh Hader refractor. I saw your your tweet. You got the you got the Lubob. Was it a sepia? Bo's got a sprained knee. Oh, poor Bo. It's a beauty. Freshman Flash Lux. Yeah, the sepia. Sweet. Was that, did you record that one or was that just like a PC rip? What's up, Peds? You got the pink Lou Bob? Awesome. D Gordon. Lau. Been talking about Lau and he is crushing this year. See, now we need Cheryl in here because she's a Tampa Bay Rays fan fan, and been, you know, I've talked about Brandon Lau in the past with her. We're on the same page. Dave not feeling good? Well, maybe after this you'll feel good. We're going to change the music and get something a little more up uplifting or potentially energetic. Let me see what I can do. Let me see what I can do here. Okay, we'll go right here. And then we'll go to this. All right, let's just see. Eh, it's kind of corny, but it'll switch. All right. It'll switch up, musical change. But it's more like upbeat stuff. Yeah, that was a beast. You got about 20 Chrome Lau cards from last year. He had a game running home run today. See, he's the man. He can even go against lefties. Like you think he's going against a lefty, might not have a good day. They drop him down in the order and he still hits a home run. It's like, whoa, dude is awesome. I, I wish I would have drafted him for my fantasy team. Should we start with this? Let's start with this. Soroka towards Achilles after you pull his card. So many Sorokas though. So many, so many Soroka autos. There's a Dustin May CPS, that's a nice one. Going to Steve, Steve A. Another Jose, oh no, that was a Santana. And Alex Young, all right, cut. Are, do you guys have trouble pulling the special cards out of the special packs too? Or is it just me? Zack the Milkman. <laughs> oh, this is Nola. Gaston. Dustin, I know. I get a lot of Dustin Mays. Tim Anderson Refractor. Every Sox card gives me just a slight, like, <gasps> gasp, gasp-worthy. <laughs> Your shoulders hurt from pulling so many gallon cards, says Dave. Yeah. I feel it. I feel you. Oh, you got that bow. That's right. Thanks, John. Dude, that's going to be awesome. I can't wait to see that. I keep looking at the bow. Um, negatives. Oh, I'm so close to pulling the trigger, but I just can't do it. Just can't do it. Maybe now that he's on the DL, his cards will go down and I can buy some of them for cheap. Harold Ramirez, refractor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Lou Bob's doing awesome. There's a Kyle Lewis. There we go. There you go, Johnny.
Should I put him up on a good rookie stand? Santander hit a home run today. He's got some pop against Scherzer. A couple of those Orioles got home runs. I think it was Santander. They all, all of them kind of run together for me. I, I get them confused. It's just like, well, another Orioles home run. We're going to keep Jordan in front, though. Just, you get it. Oh, I was so mad I had Jordan on a DraftKings lineup today, and they pulled him at the last second and switched him out, and I didn't have the time to take him out. There's a Lux. All right, we're doing it. The O's are making the playoffs. They might. Dude, it might be like the Orioles, the Tigers, the Marlins, all the best teams. They are underrated, actually. Nobody gives them any credit, and they're actually a pretty good offensive team. John Means was on the mound today, and that's their best pitcher. Eshelman heard that. I'm sorry. I forgot Eshelman was in the room. But, yeah, he, ugh, he's not good. Means this year. We got a Sandy Koufax die cut. The Rays are monsters. How do they keep doing it? You look at their t their team up and down, and it's like there's no superstars, really, except for Austin Meadows. Sweet Bo. Going to Joseph. And Diaz. And then they, they go and score like 17 runs. <laughs> you think the Orioles, Marlins, and Tigers in the playoffs would make a much funner postseason? Maybe for all those people. There's only three cards in here. There's three. There's only three cards in this pack. What is that all about? Are one of these special? No. Okay. Did you have something to do with this, Eshelman? Conspiracy theories with Tommy Eshelman. I'm going to give this one a Bill Hooking. Straight up hook. Oh god, wait till they add Wander, no kidding. Ashelman said, no card for you. Right, I'm gonna wait until the end for this one. Maybe I'll just maybe I'll let uh Maybe I'll let Kluber Claws soak on there. What do you think? In honor of Nina being in here, we'll, we'll let Kluber Claws soak. Ben Intendi injured? He hasn't been doing that well, has he? Another Kyle Lewis. John wanted some Lewises, and he's going to get them. We've got two of them already. You can get a box of Absolute on Steel City for $184.95. Wow, that's... I mean, it's not that much cheaper than MSRP, but I only saw it for $200 everywhere. Look at that. Freshman Flash Bow. We're getting some bows. Good job, Kluber Claws. Hey, Alex. Lots of Seattle. Lots of Seattle, guys. You have a chance to get these mega boxes for 65 each. Is that a good deal? Well, yeah, anything better than like straight up double. But I haven't done the value series, so I can't really say for sure with, with the, uh, the megas. I haven't incorporated them into the list. Another Lux, we got two Luxes. But at least it's not double the price. That's kind of where I, my head went, because they're like 40, 40 plus tax, you know, you're going to pay like 43 bucks or whatever, maybe a little bit more, depending on where you get them. So if you get them for 65, you know, it's not that bad, if, unless you got to add tax and shipping to that. Astudio! La Tortuga! Bruhan's a couple years off, and they've been experimenting with Lau in left field. He seems like he could play pretty much anywhere. Wow, he's athletic, gifted. Pete Cup, Aaron Nola refractor. 
Brandon opened a 2019 archives and pulled an Ozzy Smith to 25. Wow. Kiermeyer. I know it's like he gets lost in the mix. Solid guy, solid player. There we go. Got a Jordan 85. We're getting, we're getting them. Going to Nathan. What is this? There's like a black thing on this. This is fresh out of a pack. All right, let's try this. Pretty nice Jordan. Let's get those likes up, guys. Deftones with the Super Chat. Chrome Sapphire, no info, replaced by Chrome Black. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't have any info on that, man, but I do know that I'm getting some Chrome Black. I don't know what it's all about, really, but it's Chrome, and it says Black, so I don't know. That's got to be cool, right? Chrome Black. So I'm definitely going to get some. Glass now. Did you guys see that video that I posted that him talking, uh, and trying to read his lips? I could not get it. And then someone posted it, and he said... It was right on. I can't remember who got it, but he said it was, he was saying like, don't put your glove, don't spot the ball. Like don't put your glove in the spot too early. They must've been picking it up where he was putting his glove out of the corner of their eye or something. Because then immediately after that, it seemed to be going a little bit better for him. I'm gonna grab some complete sets, Jamie. I think it I think they're worth it because if you think about how much a complete set costs versus like what is it like forty or fifty bucks or something for one, you only get like two blaster boxes for that. And you're not gonna get a complete set out of that. And also you get like SPs out of those complete sets, so and they can be pretty valuable. Mookie. That's cool. Prism. Mookie Prism. Crushing three home runs in one game six times in his career Ridiculous. I Never even picture Mookie as like the power guy He's just the good hand-eye coordination guy and he'll just blast off. Oh, we got another parallel. I think you saw it Locaine another parallel sweet got a green Got a retail green Yeah, Mookie seems to be worth every penny so far, but you know what happens as soon as they as soon as they start sliding, man, people people be hating on that contract. Twenty eight and ninety nine, nice, thick. Look how thick that one is. Excellent. All right, two parallels. I'm digging it. Cunha. We already beat the odds on the parallels. Getting a nice little selection of rookies going here. And the sepias. Guzman. Solak. Kane. And Candelario. The trend continues. Unfortunately. All right, how about, oh yeah, value packs. We got value packs too. We got it all. Got it all. Let's do it. Bet's rookie's gone up 300% in the last month. Ugh, wish I would've bought some. That's the one guy I don't have. I don't have any Mookie rookies. I bought Devers rookies. I should've bought Mookie rookies. Devers is not looking good. Justin Dunn. Candelario and a Schwarber prism. Yeah, I'd love to see a pink Robert. We got a bunch of these value packs, so let's get a pink Robert. I think we can do that. There's another Kyle Lewis, three of them. We got three Kyle Lewises. Because one isn't enough. All right, who else? Chris Bryant, 85. Nick Hill, you sold a Betts rookie a couple years ago, sold it for 10 bucks. I mean, you never know. 
You never know. I don't fault anybody for selling any cards if you want to keep opening. You gotta do what you gotta do. Wow. Armenteros. Refractor. Why does Houston just keep pumping out the pitchers? Like Javier's a boss. They, they, I mean the players in general. They just keep pumping out like all-star caliber players. It was, was it the sucking for like 10 years? A decade of sucking? Gavin Lux, pink. Don't worry, guys. It'll be back. It'll be crushing right before you know it. Nice card. Got a puck, a Vogelbosch, and a pink Jordan. Yes. There we go. Now there was a good pink pack. That was a really nice pink pack. Jordan and Lux. Let's go. We're going to run out of room. I'm going to have a pink, like a, there, we'll go like that. Special pink slash parallel, like not numbered parallel, but you get it. So what's like a base chrome Mookie going for these days, rookie? Not graded, just raw. Oh yeah, Dustin May's awesome. Definitely not sleeping on him. Jordan on the back. Got a McKay. There we go, Jordan, freshman flash. Nice one. Hundred. Whoa. A hundred bucks. Yeah, it looks orange back there. Jake Rogers, Syndergaard, Acuna, Wit, Arcia. Seems like the value packs are hit or miss. Oh, there's a Yordan, so I guess that's a hit. Why are all the Yordans coming out now? Oh, it's a refractor Yordan. There we go. Nathan getting hooked up. You got the pink and a refractor. Parallels, subsets. You're getting it all, man. Let's keep it up. Kind of digging the value packs. Yeah, Roberts seem like they're really hard to pull. But then again, all the good rookies seem hard to pull. We're getting some good ones here, but at least in my experience, it's been tough. Mookie base is 99 cents to 599. Uh, I'm talking about his rookie. You mean in this? Well, Jordan already, he, I mean, he can't, he's got two games back. Today was going to be his third, I think. I think he's already got a home run. He just slid right in there into the four hole in that loaded Astros lineup. Another Acuna, 85. Say 60. Yeah, held out today. I know. It's late night breaks. What's up, man? It, I was so upset that he was out. There's a trout, the real one, not the discount one. Because I have an awesome lineup going. And it would be like potential of winning thousands of dollars kind of thing. Patrick Corbin. Because he wasn't cheap.
Justin Dunn. This guy is just everywhere. Carter. Burke, speaking of someone who's everywhere. And Collins. Let's try another blaster. Do the routine on this one. Sweepy, sweepy. Every once in a while, I gotta keep Selig involved or else starts complaining endlessly. Yeah, you gotta look at sold listings and just go to like the, the most recent one sold. It, but it's tough because condition, obviously. You know, if there's a scratch on there, if it's off center or whatever. So, so maybe the best way to do it is to go to like a PSA 8 because a PSA 8 is right in line with like a raw card pretty much. Depending on the condition. You pull the Selig Auto and Ginter. I bet you were ecstatic. Nico. Going to David. Ooh, wow. Trout SSP and the Players Weekend Uni. Yeah, that, that, that is beautiful. I don't think I've seen a picture of that. Well, good luck, sports kids. I hope you pull something. Something good. A real banger. A real world-class card, you know? Pull some crack. It's been a while since I, <laughs> since I used that word to describe a card. Willie! The Soto Super. That would be super duper. Selig signs stuff through the mail. Dude, I should, shouldn't I? Yeah, but we can't be without Selig. We can't be without Selig. So I can't send him away. Who knows, if, even if I'd get him back. I do have a base Selig I could send, though. Tatis. Nice peak. Volabash just everywhere. That's the problem. It's like, what is it, 200 card checklist? So you run into the same cards over and over and over and over. What do you guys think? Did you watch that video where I opened up some Chronicles, NBA Chronicles? It was so much fun. I had a blast opening that stuff. So loaded. It, it reminded me of last year doing all the baseball Chronicles. It was so loaded with good stuff. Unfortunately, I didn't get any numbered cards, so I think that's kind of where the retail comes into play. A lot more numbered stuff out of re uh, um, hobby, I mean. A lot more numbered stuff out of hobby. I didn't get any really numbered stuff out of the retail that I opened. Glaber, Refractor, and another Jordan. Evangelina's got the Glaber. And Nathan's got the Jordan. Six Zions, that's right. Six Zions, and was it two Morants? And they're all awesome, like the Zion. All but, like two of the Zions I wasn't huge on, they're just kind of like base Zions, but the ones that are all shiny and fancy, especially that Flux, that Flux Zion was fire. Loved it. Love it. Prism? Oh yeah, spoiler alert. Morant dunking on Kevin Love is awesome. That's got to be my favorite card out of the whole thing. McKay? Nico? Yeah, I was calling them luminescence too. It was luminance. It was so hard to see. I, I was like, the, the luminance was all running together. I couldn't even tell what it, what it said. I just I, I assumed it was luminescence because I've heard of that word before. I mean, luminance, I guess, is you know, it's a word too. But Aquino, sepia. Oh, sorry, sorry guys. I'm sorry you had to see that. Top should take note of the popularity of all of the Chronicles and do something similar. Yeah, it's, I don't know. It seems like Top doesn't really care what Panini's doing. They just do their own thing. 
Does that seem... Because they don't really... Like, they haven't, they haven't ripped off the Panini reverse auction thing for their online stuff yet. I don't know if they will. It seems like the other way around, more like Panini rips off tops, but they, ha they, they do actually have a lot better designs, better artwork, better graphics, better lower numbered stuff. So Panini's got a lot going on. But every once in a while, it gets, it gets just redundant the Panini stuff without, without seeing that logo on there. Every once in a while, it's like, all right, I, I gotta get some tops. Yeah, they really should hire me. I've got tons of ideas, but I don't want to work for the man. Yeah, Chris is right. Panini would destroy tops if they had logos. It would be very interesting to see what would happen if you got two companies with logos. There would be competition there. And the supply, so just all of a sudden, the supply kind of doubles without even doubling. Because it would be in direct competition with each other and there would be all these, like, can you imagine if we had to, it's so hard to keep track of all the different releases from just Tops, And then to go Tops and Panini, whew, it would be so overwhelming for a new person. It's already overwhelming for people that know a lot about cards to keep up with all this stuff. Got a pink, pink. Pete Cup. Hey, Eva. Pulled a card for you. I don't know if you saw it. I think it was a Glaber refractor or something. Alright, nothing crazy out of the pinks. Yeah, their numbering scheme is confusing. Plus, I can't get over the fact that they don't put the odds on the packs. It just tells me that there's some sneaky things going on there. They could do anything that way. They could just hold back. You know, something, a big scam would be if they had a worker there that was holding back particular cards. We would never know. The odds aren't on there. And they just float out into the market. There's so much money there. That's something something to think about. You know, what's, what's to say that they don't just keep, yeah, I don't know. I don't even want to put that into the ether. Good luck, good luck, good luck. With a bill hook. Yeah, the panini. I like. I like the designs of a lot of that panini stuff. It's it's collectible, man. Like, it's for me. It's more of PC. Like, let me just show you one that I really like. A panini card. Like, look at this one. Rookie jersey auto. Tatis refractor number to 199. You're like you're telling me that has no value? It does. It's still a Tatis autograph. Whether or not it has a logo on it or not. If Tatis signed your napkin, it would have value. Or trout or fill in the blank, whoever your guy is, you know. That's why the Panini stuff has been ticking up because people are starting to realize that. So what if it's a signed baseball? It doesn't have a logo on it. It's signed by Tatis. Does that have any value? Yeah, lots. The Tatis auto you got, you sold for 175. Nice. I don't remember what one that was. Was it a Panini one? Must have been. No, I have pulled some some Tatis autos out of other things. Babe Ruth. Die cut. OPS. What, what, what was his OPS plus? Let's find out. 216? What? Whoa. Wow.
Another bow. Ooh, this is the second bow we've got. Second 85 bow. Yeah, Babe Ruth is just in a different, different category when you're talking about the goat. You just go look at his numbers, and you'll be your jaw will hit the ground. Yeah, it was a different era, but just all of his his war, his WRC plus, just everything is crazy. No more. Another Jordan! Good lord! This is where they all are. I don't even know how many Jordans that is now. One, two, three, four, five. Five different Jordans. Yankees got them for five bucks. This is a jam. I'm digging this song. Dustin May. Where's the Lou Bob? Lester? Refractor? We were talking about him earlier. Go to David. Babe Ruth pants card. Wow. You gotta put the song on a scale like a scale relative to other free songs. Nico Refractor. Nice pull. David's been getting a couple cards here. Had a pinstripe in it. Awesome. Any autos yet? No, we, we just, we're just we doing the retail stuff right now, but we haven't gotten any autos. We did get two parallels, though, which is pretty good. No autos yet. We've got, we still got quite a bit, but, you know, we're doing the, I'm going to save the jumbo for the end, so we'll have five autos out of there. We're just getting warmed up right now. Just getting loose. Kyle Lewis Refractor going for 25 or more. What's the mercy rule on Jordans? I know. Oh, get out of here, Nick Hill. Get right out of here with that talk. All right. All right, let's finish up the retail. We still have a mega box. There's just, we're doing tons of retail. Mega box and value pack, and then we'll get into the good stuff. Make sure to fulfill all the responsibilities with these last two retails. So who's gonna do a better job? Kluber Claus or Clayton Claus? I mean, there's a lot more in here, but, so we're gonna give Kluber Claus like a plus 225 and uh, Kershaw will be minus 175 because I got to have some juice, you know, a little bit of juice coming to striker. Put your bets in the comments below. Who's going to win, Clayton Claus or Kluber Claus? And you get the odds. So use all of the information that you've gathered so far. The winner gets a big ol' congratulations. Pete, we're just going best card. That I mean, maybe I should have made it like, I probably should have gone like minus 350 for Clayton Claus. I'm not the best at setting odds. Another Lux though. Another Lux. The rookie stash is getting out of control. Yeah, if Kluber gets that that Robert Pink, which is inevitable, then it's going to be a big payday for whoever took Kluber Claus. How many Kyle Lewis's can we pull? The answer so far, I think, is four. Four Kyle Lewis's. Belt. Refractor. San Francisco gets on the board. There you go, Robert. Your Lewis cards are coming close to 
The Roberts. You got you got a few Roberts in the in the collection so far. Tanaka. Prism. Ouch. Light top. Rowdy. Paddock. Hello, Mr. Goody. How are you this evening? Freshman Flash Aquino. I really like these. Yeah, the Freshman Flash of Robert is gorgeous. I'll show you mine again. This is right here. Maybe that'll give us good luck and we'll pull one out of here now. Uh, future stars, Eloy. Another done. Day flew by. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. If you're working, that's a great thing. Toro. Dude, even like this, even Abraham Toro comes up and does reasonably well. The sweetest insert of the year, maybe. That's that's interesting. It might be. What would what would compete? What do you guys think? The freshman flash is pretty gnarly. Go back and think to some of those Bowman ones though. But that might you might be right. What do you think? What competes with that? Out of anything else. We've had some other, you know, series one, series two, Bowman, Heritage, Gypsy. Oh, the 2030. Good call, Goody. Yeah, the 2030. Yep. It is personal preference. Oh, here we go. I guess I'm doing the X-Fractors. Dustin May. I don't know. Gypsy Taros, Bowman Scouts. Oh, Lee, you, in order to get the 2030s, I think those are only available in the jumbo boxes, right? Or are they in hobby too? I know they're not in retail. Oh, that's a nice pull for John. Kyle Lewis, X-Fractor. There you go. Nice little pull. Hobby too, thank you. Gotta go in the parallel pile though so the the Kyle Lewis X Fractor is the best card out of that box so far we got one one pack left here we'll see hmm okay so can we beat the Kyle Lewis X Fractor Well, you know what? I've got I've got two boxes, two jumbo boxes of 2020 Top Series 2 that I'm just waiting for a good time to, to break. So we'll get some more of those 2030s someday. I kind of want to save one maybe for... I don't know if it's going to make the cut for the best of the year. The end of the year breaks where I do the best releases of the year. I don't know. Series 2, because it's only got the Robert. That's the thing. But it's such a desirable card. Favorite football team? I don't really have one. I'm so down on football. Freshman Flash Bow. Because my Lions are so horrible, and I don't have a reason to root for anybody. It's just all the nonsense. Forty for that Kyle. Sweet. Raw, probably, too. But I, I don't know, like now, in my opinion, maybe the time to sell high on Kyle Lewis. Just my opinion. Brendan McKay, maybe he's better than, maybe he's better than his minor league stats would indicate. But it's pretty tough when someone comes out of nowhere and starts producing at a rate that's significantly better than what they did in the minors. K-Refractor. I, 
think the Kyle Lewis is going to win. One, one last shot. Reese, uh, Blake. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. We have a winner. There we go. I forget who was on top of the value pack. Was it Kluber Claus? Someone just made a lot on the Vegas spread, the striker spread. Was it Clayton or was it Klubbot? Nicholas. Oh, yeah. Very nice. It was Klubbot? I know. I saw Blake and I was like, meh. Klubbot, man. Rookie of the year, I think, for, for good luck charms. What do you think about that? And the archer. All right, so we haven't even gotten into the jumbo yet. Let's just take a brief overview. Bang, like, that'll do. Two parallels, tons of good rookies. So here's our parallel pile. We got the Bob, the Lewis, the Refractor Yordan, the Pink Yordan, and the Pink Lux. So very good, very good so far. Once again, fire, fire, fire. Last but not least, five on-card autos. Kluber, standalone. He's gonna do a standalone job. We're gonna see. We're gonna put him right into the fire. He's done with his orientation, and it's time for the big show. Let's go, Klub. Hook this one, too. My favorite part about the jumbos, the styrofoam on the bottom, because I use it. Just kidding, it's not my favorite part, but it is the very last little bit of value you can get out of the box. <laughs> it's a piece of styrofoam. It's good for putting in those boxes, like card boxes. If you, you got a little bit of extra room, you don't want the cards to move around, wiggle around. All right, let's go. Let's do this. We got some good stuff coming. Let's get right to it. Discount Trout's covering up our first auto. Who's it going to be? Come on, baby. Looks like, is it... How is this one set up? Lizardo. Dude, he's doing great as well. Lizardo. I think everybody kind of knew he was going to do well. But, yeah, I mean, you never know for sure. There you go, John. Look at that. Not bad. Followed by a Tatis refractor. Going to Derek. This is a nice pack. And a Nico. Absolutely not, Dominic. <laughs> Nina giving shout outs nice auto she likes it everybody likes it everybody loves it Yordan freshman flash so many Yordans got the Prism Otani how much for the Kikuchi you got it all wrong Got to pay to get rid of the Kikuchis. Got it backwards. Got to pay someone to take it off your hands for you. Well, here's the thing about pitchers. When they're rookies and they're doing really well, 
they have some kind of value. And then after a couple years and people kind of forget about them, you know, pitchers are so, I don't want to say Tommy John, but they're so, they're going to get Tommy John. So that's kind of the reason. So if they're crushing and you're looking to sell, do not hesitate would be my suggestion. You know the saying about hesitation. I'm not going to repeat it here because this is a family channel. Michael Bias. So we got another parallel. That is a thicky. Goodness gracious. Look how thick that is. You see that? It's like a 79 point. This is thick. Yeah, they're both that thick. I'm going to move the rookie pile back. Move that pile back. Getting into the good stuff. Savale refractor. DeGrom first Bowman, four bucks. Yeah, that, that tells you all you need. Another Yordan. That one's scratched up though, a little bit down there. Another Yordan. I didn't know it was that easy to get Yordans. Oh yeah, Nina, are you, do you, Ohio's like all about trying to get back to normal, aren't they? Are you having in, actual in classes or do you gotta do the virtual thing? Yordan Palooza, I know, I almost named this Chroma Palooza, but everybody started stealing my Palooza talk in the card world, so I, I'm gonna I'm gonna zig when there's agon. Grisham and an auto. You see a Tampa pitcher in front of Lou Bob every time. No, I didn't. School is online for your district for the first quarter, really. Do you like that or would you just like to get back in the swing of it? Here we go. Another Indians pitcher, Logan Allen. Nina brought the Indians luck with her. Going to carry. Followed by a Machado Refractor. Yeah, Topps Chrome does look very nice. Logan Allen Soso, I want him to do well because I got I pulled that same auto out of retail. There's that Brandon Lau. Prism. There's another Dustin May. Hank Aaron die cut. We got another break coming right up after this one, guys. And we're mixing in some of that absolute. Just to change it up a little bit. There's going to be some different stuff in the next one. But we're still doing a chrome jumbo. So we got the Shohei. There we go. First base, Robert. Wait a second. Let's test that theory. Who was right behind? It was, it was a Blake Snell. Ray's pitcher and then Lou Bob. All right, we're, we're learning things. It's an educational experience for everybody. Ray's pitcher, then old Bobby boy here. Ah, I see you, I see you, Jeremy. I see you. I love it. Usually I pick up on that stuff, but I don't know. I think I think all of my openings this year, I haven't been really focusing it on like the order of the cards. I've been just like running my mouth a lot. So so much to say since baseball season's here. I've got so much to talk about, all the different players and the teams and the news and 
Controversy. There we go. The freshman flash. Now we're getting them. Now we're going. Yankees are on. I, I'm not gonna say let's go Yanks. I don't think I've ever said that, and I I can't I can't start today. I don't I don't have anything against them, but they are the Yankees. I mean, okay, I don't have anything against the players. I actually like all of them. Can't think of one Yankee player that I don't like. You know, there was always A Rod that we could all hate on for a while. But, you know, it's the Yankees always beat up on everybody, so it's hard to like them unless you're like a New York person. Trout. All right, hold on, let me try. Let's go. Let's go, Yankee. It. I tried. Got a couple stickies, and then a parallel. Did you see who it was already? Oh, it's a pitcher. Oh, it's a okay parallel auto. TJ Zoik. Funny name to pronounce. Going to the Blue Jays though, Joseph. Like yoink, Zoik. I looked it up. I listened to the announcer say his name because it was frustrating. I'm looking at that just going, I got nothing. Zook? Zoik? Zank? Zoch? What is it? Nope, it's Zoik. <laughs> Terrible auto. Nina's teaching coming out. Terrible auto. You want to talk about terrible auto. Hold on, I want to show you a terrible auto. I was just looking at it because I'm in my Grisham phase. I spilled the beans, but what is that? How does that say Trent Grisham? How? I don't mean to upset you, Nina. I know the, the handwriting is going to drive you crazy. But how does that say Trent Grisham? Lazardo. Refractor. Jeremy says he hopes to see. See now we. I guess we could. Can we root for seeing Snell now? Is it going to be Snell than Robert? Because I guess we could start rooting for Snell if that's the case. I mean, not in real life, but just like hoping to see a Snell. Is it just Snell or is it just any Rays pitcher? That's the question. That's the next question that we have to answer. Looks like he went to med school. There's too much there though. Usually the doctors are just like scribble, scribble. His is just like all over the place and just chicken scratch. It's always Snell. Okay, sweet. They're not like stuck. It's almost like static electricity holding it together. Oh, here we go. Joe Palumbo. What's up, pitcher autos? Come on. We need a hitter auto. Maybe if we get a new hitter to sign up today, we'll get a hitter auto in these last packs. Can we get one new hitter? Right below, it says join. It's $1.99. Everybody would appreciate it because maybe we'll get a hitter auto. Everybody who's in the break will definitely appreciate it. He was nervous while he was signing. Interesting thing about our old pal Trent Grisham. If you go and look up his picture on like Baseball America, he looks like a completely different person. I mean, he looks like, I don't know if nerd is the right word, but he looks like he's not a good baseball player if you're just strictly judging a book by its cover and then now like his tops card he actually looks like somewhat of a legend he looks more fit physically fit and like a little more tan i don't know all right castillo
Hold on, I'm just scrolling back. Yeah, sorry if I miss your chat, you guys. I'm I'm in a world of my own right now. Soroka Prism. Rice. Four packs left. Still time. Still time to get a new hitter to join up. I mean, I'll wait another couple seconds, but let's see if we can figure out. All right, you guys will kill just a minute of time here. Which pack has the auto in it? We got, we got one more auto to go. I'll push them together real nice for you so you can get a good look and see which one. This one looks thinner. Number three, we'll start here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Where's the auto? Pushing them together so you get a good look. That looks thin to me. Hmm. Brandon says three. The thir you think the thin one's got it in there? A lot of people are saying two. Two is, looks pretty thick. Eric with the 499 super chat. What's up, buddy? Appreciate that. Appreciate you. You, Eric. My man. Shorted a card. You're thinking it's the skinny one, eh? Okay. Should we open that one first? No, let's keep them in order. Go number one right here. Who said number one? Here we go. Here's number one. Oh. You see that? We got a thicky. That can mean one of two things. Let's find out. Whoever guessed number one might be getting lucky. Getting close. I don't want to reveal it. That's why I'm trying to take these off one at a time. Another Kyle Lewis. That makes 77 Kyle Lewises in this break alone. Well, who guessed number one? Boom. I'm in the Kyle Lewis pile. Hold on. Another pitcher. Okay, so five out of five pitcher autos. I don't know. I don't know. B Max okay with it. He's the only one who's okay with it though. At least he put his number down there, 63. What do you think about that auto, Nina? I like this one a little bit better. At least it's legible. You know that that's a J and an R. Scale of 1 to 10, Nina. Grade that auto. Nina likes it. Okay. It's worthy. The number two, yeah, that makes it. Anytime they put a little extra on there, it makes it... Just makes it better. Too many Kyle Lewises. John, you got, you got them all, man. Miguel, so we got back-to-back -back prism and refractor. You'll give them a seven, seven out of ten. Okay, I guess that's. I mean, this is a C minus. But what if you compared it to the rest of them? Like, I don't know. I kind of like that one, Joe Palumbo, the, with the big P. It's kind of nonsense down there, but. I do like the giant, the ZP. It's supposed to be a J. It looks like a Z. I, I can see the J now. All right, number two. Maybe this third pack has like a something crazy in it, like a platinum. One of ones will give it a six. Best auto of the break. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> they're all pitchers. Oh, why do they all have to be pitchers? Got a Lux. Honus. The Honus. Die cut. It's a nice one. Brendan McKay, rookie refractor. Yeah, come on, Snell. Printing plate, maybe? I think I'd be able to feel if it was like. Feel, it just feels lighter, so I don't know. Ooh, that's a beauty. Haven't seen that trout yet, believe it or not. I like the 85 trout. Brandon. 
BMAC attack. All right, here it is, the mystery pack, number three. Is there anything schmancy in there or did they just short us a card? I don't see anything schmancy. I'm gonna count the cards too. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yellich Refractor. Seven. Oh! Yeah! There we go. That's number eight right there. Who cares now? Who cares now? We got the prism. Look at that. Yeah! Nicholas has got to be pretty happy. Gotta be. Look at that. Better than an auto. Better than all those autos put together, probably. Gets his very own stand. Yeah, it does, Derek. Definitely. There we go. Okay, good old lucky number three. So that was number eight. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Two. No, they're thirteen. I guess I was just... I don't know. It looked thinner. Boom! This has been all right. It's kind of the story with the autographs, man. It's there's so many rookie autos that you're gonna it's gonna be really hit or miss. Last pack. Oh, a negative, too. It's Adbert Azalea. But, one out of... Uh, I don't have a pack here, but they're one out of 87 in the retail stuff. Man, is that a thick card. It's nice. Cubs, David, man. You've gotten a couple of decent ones. Love the negatives. Probably the last card to go on a stand, we'll see. D. Gordon Refractor, another Kyle Lewis. I don't think we got that 85 yet. And that is all. Okay, break number one in the books. Let's, let's check it all out. So here's some of the parallels we got. We got the Jordan Refractor, the Kyle Lewis X Fractor, the pink Jordan, the pink bow, the pink Lou Bob, the prism Lou Bob. Got the Adbert negative. Oh, I saw it. There's like a tiny little surface scratch right there, just a little one. So that'll be all right though. Got the green bias, two greens. So uh, we beat the odds on this one big time, you guys. 28 and 99, 30 and 99. Did get a color auto too. 30 of 250, TJ Zoic, nothing special. All of these autographs, Logan Allen, Jose Rodriguez, Joe Palumbo, and Lazardo. Jordan got a stand real early. Got the blue Santana. 150. Break number two coming right up after this, you guys. Kyle Lewis got the freshman flash, Robert. Regular base, Robert. Look at all that you're done. Kyle Lewis, Lux, you're done, you're done. Lux, 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 you're done. Lewis, Lewis, Lewis. And old Tom Eshelman back there. I think I'm going to let him sit back in the cheap seats and just watch. So we can make fun of them all the time and never forget to make fun of them. Sometimes you can forget who to make fun of. We always remember he who must not be named, but, and Danny Mendick, obviously. Let me give this a little sweep before we get number two started. Let's get the jams pumping.
Okay, I gotta put all these cards in a box, and then we will randomize. Break number two. We're gonna mix it up a little bit on this next one, guys. We got an absolute. It's like a real song. Real music, sort of, sort of. Like a broke girl, ain't no hobby. Looking so good, gotta tell somebody. Lost my mind when I see a hot body. A hot body makes me wanna fall in love. Makes me wanna fall in love. Don't stop now, just give me. Like a broke girl, ain't no hobby. Looking so good, gotta tell somebody. Lost my mind when I see a hot body. Break number two. Got all the cards here. Have you guys seen these yet, the little blisters? I included one of these just for fun. But the Series 2 blisters, I finally saw them. Only available at Meyer. I grabbed a couple of them. We'll see, maybe we can get lucky. All right, just pulling up break number two. Find it. Where is it? Here it is. Absolute Chrome Jumbo Mixer. Ready? Crashing down now. Not gonna be able to read the chats for a minute, guys, while I'm focusing. Okay, gotta get these out of order. There we go. They're randomized. Grab the team list. Three times. There's one. There's two. And there's three. Cincinnati Reds leading off. Slapping it down. Here's the die. One. Gotta roll again. Add it to the one. Oh boy, seven times. Seven's a good number. Seven's a very good number. I think we're in for a great time here. One. I don't know why that's in green. Oops. for some reason. All right, let's keep going. Here we go. John C. on top. The Reds. Whoops, wrong thing. Sorry, let me go back. There we go. There we go. John C. the Reds. Put them in order. Here we go. Diamondbacks, Shep. Braves, Shep. Orioles, Zach W. Red Sox, Carl W. Cubs, Shep. White Sox, Cubby. Reds, John C. Indians, James H. Rockies, Robert H. Tigers, Jason H. Astros, Shep. Royals, James H. Angels, Clinton W. Dodgers, Joseph B. Marlins, Shep. Brewers, Shep. Twins, Angelina. Evangelina. Mets, Brandon K. Yankees, Brandon K. Athletics, Eddie O. Phillies, Chris L. Pirates, B. Mac. Padres, Lenny L. Giants, Jason H. Mariners, Shep. Cardinals, Joshua B. Rays, Skyler. Rangers, Shep. Blue Jays, Shep. Nationals, Kenny B. All right, let's make the second one better than the first. Is it possible? All right, I'm gonna drop that link. The link is on the homepage of Striker Breaks for round two here, guys. I'll grab the link for you. It's taking just a moment. 
copy. And there you go. There it is. Let me grab my sheet, start timing me now. I'm gonna try to make the record. Made it. Oh, did I beat the record? Whew. Quiet, Ashelman. Always heckling me. Always heckling. Heckling Ashelman. That's what all his teammates call him. All right, so. You guys want to start with this Series 2 as an appetizer? Just got some retail, but I haven't opened a Series 2 in a minute. It'll only take a minute. Let's see what's in here. I haven't opened any of these yet, and I don't know. But hopefully we get a banger purple. Kluber. I like your style, Kluber. I missed, I missed by a Kikuchi. So they only have one purple card in here now. D. Gordon. Remember they used to have two perps. I wonder if that means they... What does that mean? Does that mean that they produced a lot more of the blisters? And so they have to put less? Or does that mean they produce less blisters? What does that mean? I need help. Yeah, they're what, $349 or $399 a pack? Something like that. And then what are these? Like, are there special odds on these blisters? Gold 1 in 8, Rainbow Foil 1 in 10. Hmm, what does that mean? Does that mean these are the same as like a hobby? That's what I'm wondering. Because those odds are pretty long. Walgreens, you get 70 yellows. Oh, I'd love the, like, out of here? Yeah. I can, the Walgreens near me do not have them. We're just looking for the Lubob, pretty much, you guys, so we can kind of fly through this. But look at this. It has a chrome turkey in there. Jeff Bagwell. Got lucky there. Just a single pack. Severino. So, who's got Houston? Because that's a little surprise for the Astros. Shep. It's going to be Shep. Shep's got a lot of teams here. We're going to be hearing Shep's name all the time. Got something in here, something shiny down the way. into the shinies. It's Luis Arias. Future stars. He needs to get a little bit more pop in his bat. Will Myers having a comeback season. I thought he was washed, I admit. I thought he was washed. Turns out he's not. He's actually still really good. 986 of 2020 going to the Padres. Lenny. Got the Warriors of the Diamond. Chipper, Pete, Stan, and that's about it. Let's try this hanger. Feels good. Something about it feels real good. Feels really heavy. 67 cards. Is it true Altuve got benched? What? What do you mean? Is he sucking? I thought he was doing okay. Low batting average, right? He's batting below the Mendoza line. But you guys, like, I don't know, two-thirds of the MLB is probably batting below the ML Mendoza line. 
Yeah, hangers are cool. I like that hangers. They're my, they're my favorite. I like them better than re uh, blasters. They're so loaded. It's the most loaded thing you can get. A hanger box. There's always like a good gold. There's always at least like a gold or a rainbow or something special. Something numbered. Chrome turkey. We'll see. We'll see very soon. We're looking for that Robert. Where is he at? Pretty big checklist. One out of 350 to pull him. And then there's 67. So 67 out of 350, but not quite because there's some inserts in there. Where's the special stuff? Is it in the back of the pack? Is that why? Yeah. Hey, what's up? Crash. Oh, it's Corey. Sweet. Yeah, two, if you bat below 200, it's the Mendoza line. It's 200. So you gotta, you, it, to be in the bigs, to keep your job, you gotta bat above that. Eric Sogard. Rainbow. Oh, we've got a Black Pete. That's numbered, you guys. That's numbered. Let's go to Brandon K. 141 to 299. Not bad. He asked to be moved down to seven. Whoa. I wonder how long until they just collapse completely. They've got so much talent, I don't see it happening, but with all the mental stress of the regular, like just imagine that you're not a cheater. <laughs> and you still have all the stress of the world on you. But to know that you're a cheater and you got caught, you have all that additional stress on you, everybody hates you. Mm. It's gotta be really tough being an Astro right now. Mentally. And physically. Getting hit. All right, well there was the appetizer. Ashelman talking again back there. We say we start out with a blaster, a nice solid blaster. Billy. Let's get those likes up, guys. Can we get to the concurrent viewer amount of likes? That's always the goal. And if we get more, then a fairy falls out of the sky and grants us three wishes. It's only happened once. And I wished for more wishes, got in trouble with the fairy. She said, nope, I'm gonna take a wish away and you don't get to do that. I was like, ah, okay. And then I made another mistake that I wished I could go back in time, keep going back in time and get more wishes. Apparently that's against the rules too. There's an Aquino, 85. And then at the end I accidentally said, ah, oh, I wish I knew the rules before we started this. Guess what? That was my third wish. Sometimes I'm just a knucklehead. Here we go. Come on. There is a Prism Aquino. Going to John. In the Moncada. Well, I can tell you one thing. This break's gonna have more autos. That I can tell you. And more memorabilia cards to guarantee than the last one. Kyle Lewis Refractor. Going to Shep. Starting off, starting off really well. Got that numbered Pete, Kyle Lewis Refractor, crushing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Kim just pulled, as of today, in a Walmart hanger pack, a one of one, Z what? Zion rated rookie auto. Dude, you gotta send me a picture of that. T-H-E-O-N-E-S-T-R-Y-K-E-R at gmail.com. The one striker at gmail.com. That's amazing. Out of a hanger pack. Whoa. 
Trout, swimming about. Clinton's got the angels today. In this break, he's getting all those trouts. Dude, did you record that, man? That would have been a great video. Low, low shocked. Oh, guys, we're pulling the Robert parallels. We've got, look at that, a refractor, Robert refractor. That's a big card. Cubby. Cubby got the White Sox. There you go. Cubby's on a quest for the Robert negative. He wants that card so bad. This is a good start for you, bud. Bang. I don't, I don't know if Cubby's in here. Haven't seen him. Sometimes he just watches them afterwards. What's up, Tigger? Um, the stores are stocking around me fairly well, and also it's all about timing. It doesn't matter, nothing matters unless you get it timed perfectly. And then even then, you're going to be one of like three or four other dudes who timed it as well. Got a Sandy Koufax x or die cut. Die cut. That's what it is. Okay. The sepias. Was Snella had a Lubob on that one? I don't remember. Probably not. Probably not. I don't think it works for the parallels, but maybe. I don't know. They're Walker Bueller. It's probably the best one out of there. Devers, Olsen, Bueller, Marte. All right. Yeah, this, this break's going to be a little short. We have less retail. Instead of the retail, I threw this one in there. The absolute. So what do you say we do this? What do you say we do this absolute? Does that sound good? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get Kluber. Kluber is crushing. Kluber is just crushing. What's up, Matthew? Dude, it's going great. I mean, my hunt is... Uh, the, the break is going great. We got a Robert Refractor. We got a Pink Robert. And then we got... What other? What was the other one we got? Was it the X-Fractor, Robert? I think it was the X-Fractor. You thought you saw Snell before it? You guys can rewind. Someone can rewind. Last Robert reverse negative sold for 400 Huh. Is that a good price? Like, okay, here's how we can tell if that's a good price. What is the Tatis and Vladdy and Pete negatives from last year go for? That's what we can do. And then also, I don't... Did they have these negatives in 2018 when you could get, like, the Acuna? And the Soto and all that. Oh, it was the base and the... No, it was the, the pink and the prism. Yeah. So we got the refractor, the pink, and the prism so far. And the base. Let's start with the blue. The blue bow. Do I like Absolute just because it's got bow on there? Maybe. Not just. But does it help? Absolutely. Chrome should have had Bo and Robert or Bo and Jordan or something on it this year. I don't know why they chose the Pete and Judge. Like, why Judge? He's so, like, 2017. Look at Got him handy. Well, there's a Kluber. Hey, Kluber. All the Walmarts stock, stock at different times from what I can gather. So you just got to find out from your local one if you can. Sometimes they don't tell you. Ted Williams there. Haven't seen that card yet. And we've got the Verdugo to $199. Going to Boston. Going to Carl. Congrats, Carl. 
All right, our first hit. Let's go. You guys ready? Boom! Donnie Walton. Rookie materials. Donnie Walton. For Seattle. Going to Shep. Got them all pre-cut. Ready to go like a boss. So do you guys ever buy into the like the single player breaks? You know, if they're doing like a two case break or sort of multiple case break or maybe even like a one case break or something. Do you ever buy like the individual players and have you gotten lucky? That's what I want because I'm thinking about doing that tonight. Number two, Wang Young Kim. The 99 tools of the trade look at that fancy autograph it's got the 33 on there three colors like a off-white baby blue and red going to the cardinals joshua b congrats bud mornings are always the best time to search not around me not necessarily it, it's different man it's different everywhere all the stores are different one of them stocks in the afternoon. One of them stocks late morning, like right before noon. One stocks at like afternoon. Like so, if you can find if you can find one that stocks early, because they're all different too. Whether whether it's the vendor that actually actually stocks the store or whether it's the store themselves that stock it. It's a lot of things to investigate and find out. We got another hit. Are you ready? Here it is. Boom! Mauricio Dubon. That is the best auto out of here we've gotten. Look at that. That's very nice. 21 out of 25. Gold ink on that black leather. Woo! -hoo! That's a beauty. Going to Jason. Jason H. Look at how pretty that is. I love that. The yellow threads. Yeah. A gorgeous card. I'd love like a Tatis like that. I think that'd look sweet with the new Padres look. With the yellow and the black with a gold auto. I'd even settle for a Grisham like that. Alright. Rookie roundup. Evan White. And Ozzy Albies. No, Kim, I don't have a Wander Auto, unfortunately. I was focusing hardcore on, on uh, Tatis last year. I opened up a bunch of Bowman Blaster Boxes. I think I opened up 40 Bowman Blaster Boxes last year. This was before like the retail craze where like I could still go to stores and find them. I, w I made multiple trips. Like I'd go, I'd grab a handful of boxes. I'd go back the next day. They'd all be there still. I'd just grab some more. But I did not pull a Wander Auto. I got maybe... I was actually really unlucky with my Wanders. I think I only got a couple of Chrome, Chrome, Chrome Wander Firsts out of all that. I had to buy them on the secondary market. And none of them were in that great a condition either. Some of them were pretty good, but... They were, not that they had scratches, they were just a little OC. Okie doke. Mini box number two. We got Stan leading off. Another Kluber. Jose Abreu. This is just the base stuff. And our numbered, it's a Vladdy. A numbered Vladdy. To 199 going to Shep all right the big stuff hit number one look how thick it is I'm gonna do a slow roll got that one 101 Tatis auto yeah it's amazing dude here we go boom oh sweet a Vladdy quad relic to 99. Tools of the trade. You got a piece of the bat on there. Two different colors, uh, two different materials right here. 
and then a white. So two blues, a white, and a bat relic. That's great for any Vladdy collectors. I like it. Jeremy says, I talked to an employee that said she got paid a hundred bucks to call a guy when the vendors show up to stock. Wow. Uh, that's a bribe, right? Is that a bribe? Technically? It's technically a bribe. Is that illegal? Or is that just like a shady... I mean, dude, people are burning down buildings and not getting in trouble, so... Paying a, hundred, paying a guy $100 to tell you when the guy the, is stocking the shelves can't be that bad. Ready? Tick, tick, tick! Patrick Sandoval. Dual... Relic Auto, Patrick Sandoval, going to the da or going to the Angels, Clinton. Not bad. Number to one forty. Isn't that an odd number? One forty. Like, why a hundred and forty? Such a strange number. Like you couldn't get ten more out of it. Go to one hundred fifty. 125 even? You gotta go 140? Okay. The Chrome Mixer, yeah dude, it's... We just did one break, and this is the second break. This is the Absolute Chrome Mixer. And we're finishing up the Absolute with a Nico Auto to 75. It's gnarly. I think that might be a red. It looks like red foil around the rookie there. 37 to 75. Nice Nico. Who's got the Cubs? Shep's got the Cubs. Congrats, Shep. Nice hit. Lots of thickies. And another stay in the man. And a Yoshimoto Tsutsugo. Rookie roundup. All right, what else do we have here? We got some more Topps Chrome. You guys ready for it? I sure am. Oh, we start with this value pack. We got one value pack. Let's get lucky with a pink. Cubs are on fire. Yeah. Most expensive card that I own? It's a good question. I've got some... It, it, this is going to depend on what they grade out as. Because I've got all my best cards. Not all of them, but a lot of my better cards are away getting graded right now. I've got... It might be that... It might be that green Bobby Witt. I got a green chrome first on-card auto of Bobby Witt Jr. And it's like a 10. It's got to be a 10. So that might be my best one, but I've also got a Tatis first auto. That one's really good too. So it might be between those two, but I've got some Jordans too that are actually really valuable. I didn't realize how valuable they were until right before the break. <laughs> Brian Anderson, I'll have to show you. I just put them away though. Like this one right here. This Jordan, if it grades out, which it's it's pretty flawless, that could be like a two thousand dollar card. It's just in a top loader, like the same original top loader I had it in twenty something years ago when I bought it. Oh, the top of it is a little rough, but yeah, that's a sick card. So, and you know they they go up and down in value, so in price. Oh, I've got a Ruby too, a Jordan Ruby. Depending on how that one would grade out, that could be a very expensive card too. There's a little scratch on that one. Because those Rubies are highly desirable, the Jordan Rubies. Sandy Koufax. Oh, there's a Lou Bob. There's a Lou Bob. 85. Yeah, that Planet Metal one is so awesome looking. 
I mean, the front of it's got to be, like the surface has got to be a 10, but the edges on the back were, were just like, you know how the, the cut marks, it can be a little sketchy. So it, it wouldn't grade out as a 10, but it might be, I don't know, tough to say. I think they, they value the back of the card a little bit different than the front. They grade it out a little differently, I, I think. Definitely the centering they do. There's a Hosmer refractor. Tatis first auto PSA 10 sold for $3,800 five days ago. Okay, that might be my best card then. I think she's gone in the mail. Nope, here it is. I guess I didn't send it away. Wow, 3,800 bucks, eh? Could pay off some debt with that. Got the pinks, but I can't let it go. Just can't let it go. Yeah, I know, I can't let it go. Dude, I have so many, I, I just, I hold on to like 99.9% .9 of my cards. You guys know how it is. It's tough to get rid of them. Oh, I wonder if the next card would have been a Bob. Do Bob. I wonder. I wonder if it works the same way for the pinks. Well, we got a pink, so didn't we get a pink? Yeah. I guess we could go back and watch. See if it works the same way for the pinks. I think it was on the back though, wasn't it? Afraid to ship it off? Yeah, but Sonic Pebble, all that, you gotta insure it. So it's gonna be insured anyway. So even if you do lose it, it's insured. All right, here we have it, a mega box. And we're gonna do a Clayton, no, a Kluber. Kluber is the man of the hour. We're gonna have him just sitting on top of that pile, letting all the good luck soak down into the cards. Oh man, there's something I gotta, I'm glad I just looked at what time it was. There's something I'm bidding on. And there is only 10 minutes left, so. I'm gonna have to bid on this thing. It's baseball related. I'll tell you after. If I win. It's relevant. Bow! Been seeing a lot of these bows lately. I think we already pulled three of them today. Going to Shep. I know, that's why I'm waiting. That's why I'm not going to tell you. It's got about, oh, I don't know, 30 minutes left. <laughs> I can't tell you how much time's left either. Randy. Matthew says, should I grade my Soto Gold Rookie at PSA or BGS? It's a good question, man. Well, you're gonna pay a little more through Beckett, I think, but you're gonna get those subgrades. It depends on if you have a bulk submission because the bulk submission will save you a bunch of money. You gotta have 100 cards though. Another option, you could send it away and get in on a group submission so you can get that group bulk rate if you've only got a couple cards. I currently have 100 cards away in a group submission like that. So, McKay, I mean, I had 100 cards, I could have done it myself. But it was my first submission, so I didn't really know what I was doing. SGC grading? I don't know. It's cheap. And you get your cards back faster. Doesn't hold the prestige of the other ones, though. And that's a big deal. Lazardo? Refractor. Going to Oakland. Eddie-o. Another Lizardo. Yeah, that's right, Brian. Resale on SGC is worse. Does grading actually have value? Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
big money, baby. Like, you, you turn your cards from, let's just say you've got $100 worth of raw cards. You send them away to get graded, and like, four out of five of them come back tense if they're all modern cards, let's just say. Then you're gonna, you're gonna probably like, at least triple, quadruple maybe the value of your cards. Maybe more, maybe less. It all depends. There's a lot of factors. But at least you're gonna at least double the value. PSA tens, man, it can be almost any card. People just want PSA tens. And even nines, like nines are for the like the PC people. Like they just want the card more. More often you'll get like a nine if you're not worried about like the investment end of it. People buy tens more for the long-term investment. I mean, everybody wants a 10, but it's just that jacked up price that, you know, if you're just PC and like, if I'm looking for a bow, I probably look for like a nine because I just want to hold on to it. And I just want the card, you know, I want a, one in good condition. Ooh, look at that. That's a sick Yordan prism. Excellent. Going to Shep. Jeremy says, any gem mint 10 will increase the value on a raw card 5x. There you go. Got to put that Yordan out on the stand. Glass now. Brian just sold his Chrome Update Soto PSA 10 for 300. Wow, just a base card. I know, where are the Aquinos? I was just, like we've been pulling all kinds of Aquinos. There's a Scherzer refractor. Scherzer got lit up today. I think he struck out 10, but allowed like four or five runs. It's so weird how, like Scherzer is so dominant and then all of a sudden they just hit a home run. He'll, he, like, he'll just strike everybody out and then he lets out up a home run. It's like, well, how has this happened? The A's are crushing. EFUD says 90% of cards sent to PSA aren't worth sending. There's a Kyle Lewis freshman flash. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. I don't know what 90% of the cards that are sent to PSA are, so I can't respond. But maybe let's just take Elmer Fudd's word for it. Kyle Lewis, Freshman Flash. I wonder why I should bid on this. It's already out of control. Probably not going to get it. It's disappointing. Candelario, Refractor, and a Joey Gallo. We got the X Fractors here. Come on, come on, big one. Let's get a big one. Nothing out of there. One left, one opportunity left. A bunch of fake PSA gem mint tens that were not close to tens. That's what you don't understand. I think it's just the human element of grading. I think all the cards should just go into a machine so there's consistency. Imagine how quick you could get them back too. If they all just went in a machine, it's scanned for scratches, it's scanned for centering, it's scanned for edges and any marks and just pump it out factory style right into the case. Boom, done. So nothing crazy out of the X-Fractors. The good stuff. Five chrome autographs in the jumbo. Let's go. We got we got a lot of hits up here. Got to make a little bit of room. Scooch back, guys. Scooch, scooch, scooch. We got five autos and some some parallels coming. Here we go. Uh oh. Hold on, I gotta plug the laptop in. Just got the message that says, battery's about to die. All 
Oh man, are you sh wow. This thing's already out of control that I'm trying to bid on. I don't think I'm gonna win it. It's definitely not gonna be worth what it what it's going for right now. Billy. Here we go. How long have I been a collector? Um, let's see. 30 years. 31 years. I took some time off, though, when I found out about girls. You understand. Pack rat, what up? Should open leaf, the patches are dirty. How's it going, William? Nice to see you. Leaf, you like that leaf stuff, eh? Some some people have told me to get some leaf. Uh, and I do like dirty patches. I'm going to let Kluber Claws soak on here. Travis Demerit. Autograph number one, going to the Detroit Tigers. Jason H. We have an offensive player for once. That's a good sign, got a batter. Good sign. Aaron Judge Refractor. Going to Brandon. Brandon K that is. And that's it. Pack number two. I haven't seen any of like can you you can get autos on all this stuff, right? Freshman flash and all that. I haven't seen any of those. Tony Gonsolin, got the Brendan McKay freshman flash, Max Kepler prism. All right, just keep it going. Oh, hold on one second. Hold on just a second, guys. I'll be right with you. And... Woo! I won. I think I won. Okay, now I can tell you what it is. It's a two-case a two case break. Jumbo, chromes, player, individual player. I bought the Trent Grishams. I bought the Trent Grisham. So... 86 bucks is what it cost me. That's, I was hoping I'd get it for like $40, but no. Just like everything else, it's crazy out of control. So I'm on a, I'm on a Grisham kick, man. I like him a lot. So for 80 bucks, maybe I can, maybe I can get a sweet auto or, um, hopefully like a negative or a parallel, a few of those kind of things. Speaking of negatives, Pablo Lopez. There we go. Going to Miami. Shep got the Marlins. Got that negative action. Well, now I got something to do tonight. Watch a break. Do you think that's a good deal? That's the next thing. What do you guys think? You probably think it's overpriced because I'm I'm thinking that it is. Is it really bad though? Eighty? What was it? Eighty bucks? Eighty-six bucks? Two cases? Two jumbo cases? 16 jumbo box. I don't know. I think I... you did Tatis. Yeah, overpriced. I kn I knew it. I just you know how you get in that mode and you're like you gotta have it. 
I've never done one before, so, so we got the Seeger refractor. Dice roll. I just he's he's really low priced right now, and he is leading off. Okay, here's what sold it for me, guys. I'll tell you why. He's leading off today against a lefty. They, you never you do see that sometimes when you got a really good leadoff hitter. But he's been batting like second. It's been like Tatis, Grisham, Machado, uh, Fam. It's been like something like that. Sometimes they'll throw Grisham in a four hole, depending. But man, he's just, he's getting the at bats. He's got power. He's got speed. He can play defense. He's on a young lineup, young team. He's got plenty of potential to get RBIs, runs, all kinds of stuff. He's flying way under the radar. He's not even in anybody's top 10 list for rookie of the year. So uh, it's, my nature is to go after guys like that for cheap. Now, how much would you pay for like a Robert in the same thing? Like a two like a two jumbo case break for all the Roberts. Sean Murphy Auto. Like what would that cost? Or, or maybe if you bought the bow. You're talking way more money, right? Like probably five times as much money. Sean Murphy. I probably should have done a little research before I did that and figured out like what my ceiling was. I put a hundred bucks as, as high as I would go, and I'm I'm so glad it didn't get that high, because I I would have been I would have had buyer's remorse big time. Three hundred, five hundred, over two hundred. Oh, he's not eligible for rookie of the year. That's why. You know, I thought that might be why. Gotcha. Played too many games last year. Okay. Okay, so that's why he's not really getting a ton of talk or anything. But his rookie cards are this year. So his cards, but he's not, just like Bo. Like Bo's not eligible for Rookie of the Year either. Scott Kingery, Refractor. Freddie Freeman, Prism. 500 is high for like the robber on a two-case break or something. Man, we haven't gotten any SPs either. They are very hard to get, but I'd love to pull you guys an SP. One out of 4,252 packs for the SSP. The regular SP is only one out of 125, but 125 jumbos, and these packs are like 35 bucks a piece. Or more. Yeah, I know Bo twisted his knee, I know. We went through the same thing last year with Tatis when he was injured. I'm not gonna let it affect me. I'm not gonna let it bring me down. I'm just gonna keep crushing. Talkman, Hank Aaron, die cut. There's the Aquino. You were calling for the Aquinos, weren't you? There you go, John. Refractor, too. Back-to-back. Hey, -back. Look at that. 85 and a refractor. All right, we'll take that, won't we? Oh, yeah, so here's, a, here's a, a, the reason why I think that that's overpriced. The 88 bucks or whatever. Uh, or why it might be overpriced is because I bought his auto, his on-card auto today, out of Chrome, and it was only like fifteen dollars. I think I got a steal on it because all the other ones were like twenty-five bucks. Maybe it's scratched up or something. Maybe that's why it's so cheap. I'll have to see. If it's all scratched up when I get it, because the the photograph was very poor. Like you couldn't even you couldn't tell anything. It was just on the front. So if I get it and it's all scratched up, I'm sending it back. Because he didn't say anything about damage. Another Aquino getting loaded. Cease. Here's the good stuff. The Dubon Refractor. Got a Bellinger Prism. 10 case, 10 case chrome break Luis Robert sold for $6,200. Good load. So you're talking one case, $620 then. So, eight times, about eight times as much for the Robert than, than the Grisham, roughly. No, because mine was two, so 16 times as much. That's the way my mind works. It goes like, okay, well, I gotta, I'm gonna go for 
the buy low because I don't really care. Like I'm not looking to to flip it really. I'm just a collector on that end of it. Here we go. This guy, Jesus Tinoco. Going to Colorado, Robert. Robert, have you heard of Jesus Tinoco? Robert's on top of everything baseball. If anybody's heard of him, it's going to be Robert. Actually, Elkanon probably would. He's a Colorado guy. Oh, refractor. There you go, Shep. Congratulations. Got a Kikuchi refractor. Devers, 85. Oh, Tinoco's a Marlin now, recently traded. That's got to do wonders for his collectability. But w William would know, wouldn't he? Thank God we got William here for all of our Marlins news. The 2020 World Series champion Marlins. You think I'm joking? William's dead serious about it. At least you got some fun uh, games that you can watch. You know, they're competitive. Dustin May. Hey, Kian Wong. We're getting the hitter autos. Tatis is in the same break, up to 102. I think I'd rather have Grisham. Yeah, I love Tatis, but I'm all about rookies. I don't find the, any joy in collecting non-rookie cards. Even like Tatis, it's like I, I still like them. And there's still joy, but it's not like the joy of getting a rookie of your guy, you know? Nicky Lopez. Like when I'm pulling the Tatis, like the Chrome, the cup card, the cup card is awesome. I'll give it that. I like the cup. But it's not like pulling a Tatis rookie. It's not the same feeling. I don't even, I don't really, I don't really PC Mike Trout, so... I don't really care. I mean, I like pulling a trout. It's it's awesome. If you get an auto or a relic or something of trout, it's awesome. But just a base. Like last year, I got so many Mike Trout parallels. So I don't know if you guys remember, but last year I ripped all that chrome. I got a pink, the X-Fractor, the regular refractor, the prism, the sepia, like all of the Mike Trouts. And I sold them all on, I think it was in a lot maybe, on eBay. And they didn't fetch hardly any money. Cause I don't really care about, like I like rookies. Dude, that's a variation right there. Just talking about the variations. Here we go, the Aquino. 35, is that the SP or the SSP? What is that guys, just a regular SP? We were talking about it, we got it. Going to John. Nice John. I need to start going back and like, rec like clipping out when I call out what we're gonna get and make a best of. I think I could make a best of the stream, every stream. There's so many funny things that happen or interesting things like calling out, calling out cards. Like we do that all the time. It's like, how about another Tom Eshelman auto? And then the next card is a freaking Tom Eshelman auto. Key boom. The green wave, back to back, bang, bang. 48 of 99, Carter. Going to Kenny. Gotta open up some more soft sleeves. Been sleeving up a lot of cards in this, these last two breaks. Robert in that break is at a G right now. Did you just see your card, John, by the way? Just got you a good card, man. Did you see that? Kino. 
uh, variation, the SP. All right, we ran out of stands. I kind of knew that was gonna happen. Actually, I didn't know we were gonna run out, but I knew it was gonna be tight. We got, and we got three packs left after this. Morehon. Refractor. Another Acuna. We've gotten a, quite a few of these today. Bruzdar. I wish Bruzdar was in his Padres uniform. Because I got his auto. And I actually like Bruzdar, too. Has there been a Robert auto yet? Not out of here, man. It's a tough, tough pull. But we have gotten a bunch of these Robert parallels. We got the Refractor, the Prism, and the Pink, which those are all bangers. There's a Trout. Freshman Flash, Kyle Lewis. Yeah, I mean, the Robert cards are way more valuable. But you gotta pay, you gotta pay big money to get in on that stuff. I, there's no way I could afford a thousand dollars to get in on a Luis Robert break right now. That, that would be very irresponsible. Best car of the break? I don't know. One of those Robert parallels, probably. Pete. There's the Honus on base plus slugging. Also known as OPS. Brian Anderson refractor. Oh, there's a Yordan 85. Very nice. You got the Bruce Bruce Dar SP out of series two? Really? Could do the bow at 502. That's it's too much. Too much. You got the trout photo variation orange. Wow. Oh yeah, by the way, is that numbered? No, that's not numbered. Okay. Because I know you can get those. Alright guys, last pack. This has been fun. It's been a blast. I've had a great time. William, are you here still? If you're here still, William, this one's for you. Not for you, but you know what I mean. Yamamoto! Going to Shep. What do I do with my sleeves? Oh, there they are. Yamamoto. Well, what, what's our ratio of pitchers to... I got to get this Kyle Lewis out of here and, and use his stand. Conforto. Goldschmidt. Refractor and Prism back to back. Anything else? That's it. What a blast. Let's check it all out, guys. You guys are legendary for watching. Appreciate all of you. Donnie Walton. Rookie material. We got that Pete number to 199 The Black Pete. That was a nice early hit. How about the Vladdy Quad Relic with that bat on there? Excellent. The Lou Bob Refractor. Put that in the case right now. Sure, he gets top loaded. Look at that. Love it. Kim, triple relic. Tools of the trade, number to 99. And this Nico, that's another nice one. To 75 on that little baseball. 37 to 75, the red. Wicked. Patrick Sandoval. Sean Murphy. Every time I pull a Sean Murphy, someone's always like, he's actually pretty good. Don't sleep on him. Sean Ryan Murphy. Mauricio Dubon. I love this. I love that. That gold with the gold 
threads there. 21 of 25. Yeah. Beautiful. Hey, we got the 85. How about the Jordan Prism? That's a hot card. Got the Travis Demerit Auto. Green Carter. Green Wave. 48 of 99. Yamamoto. Tinoco. Is that a refractor? That is a refractor to $4.99. We got the Wong, and last but not least, the Aquino SP. Very gnarly, digging it. All right, everybody, this was a blast. Thanks for watching. You guys are legends. Strikerbreaks.com. Get on the mailing list. Thanks for watching. I will catch you. Later.